Well, I, I got sick and I had strep B pneumonia and they put me on a respirator and my blood pressure dropped to 15 or, or 45 over 15. They tried to get my wife to unplug me and all that said I was going to be, if I, I had less than a 1% chance of living, if I did, I was going to be a total vegetable. But she didn't unplug me and I come out of it good as new other than the damage to the optic nerve and they don't know what caused that. Carl Stevens is my name and well right now I live in Highlandville, Missouri but I'm originally from Garrison, Missouri and I lived there for 58 years. <laughs> they said that I was going to be permanently blind and there was nothing that they could do now but said do you never know with the technology they had I might live long enough that they'd have something but actually what got me started on stem cell was uh, my sister-in-law she's always been on this vigil looking for something for me anyway she got a hold of a Dr. Neil Miller at Johns Hopkins University in Maryland and he told her that there would there would be hope for me to see and he said the only hope would be through stem cell but they had stopped his funding on stem cell at that time and he didn't know when he was going to get funding to go at it again so so i right off the bat i knew if I, there was any hope it was going to be through stem cell well i left from Houston, Texas on Christmas Day 2007 and I came back it was the 4th of February of 2008 so I was over there 33 34 days I got five injections into my spine and one into the blood vein in my hand or wrist no I didn't feel anything really except for one treatment and I had a severe headache for, well, all night long. Until I went over there, I, I was in total darkness. And I'd had one or two stem cell treatments. And I woke up one morning, in which I didn't know that there's even a window in the room that I was in. But I could see light flashing through the window. And I thought, well, give me a week and I'm going to be able to see anything. But that's really all I ever got was light perception in one eye and that's which to most people that's nothing but that's a total miracle to me because I was in a total dungeon until I went there and now I can tell the difference between daylight and dark and that that's all but that's that's great as far as I'm concerned for the first six months I was noticing changes I got where actually I was in church one day and a a lady walked by me with a red blouse on and I could I seen the movement and could tell it was red and asked her if she had a red blouse on and she did and at times I could see movement of people walk in front of me or something like that but it's been a while since I could see that oh yeah it helps me I like it in the house Sometimes I'll get confused, not know exactly where I'm at. I can close my eyes and open them, and as I open them, I'll see a flash of light when I turn my head towards the window, and I know where the windows are, and then I can figure out where I'm at. Through my experience, I thought it was as safe as you could expect, but I'm just giving my experience. I can't, can't tell anybody else. They have to make up their own mind. I thought that I would come back and be able to maybe see my family's face or something like that. It, it didn't, wasn't as well as I expected, but it was something. When I get the money, I'm going back.